Imagine waking up one morning and finding a brand new tooth growing in your mouth. Replacing the one you lost years ago sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's becoming science fact. But here, as the million dollar question everyone asks asking, how long does it actually take to regrow a tooth? Today, we're breaking down the exact timeline from the moment of injection to your first bite with a brand new tooth. Stick around because what I'm about to share will blow your mind. Let's start at day zero. You walk into the clinic, nervous but excited. The Japanese tooth regeneration drug, TRG035, gets injected directly into your gum tissue where the missing tooth once was. But here's what most people don't understand. Nothing visible happens immediately. No tooth pops out overnight like a jack-in-a-box. According to Dr. Katsu Takahashi's research team at Kyoto University, the first phase is completely invisible to you. For the first two to four weeks, the drug is working at the molecular level. The medicine blocks something called USA G1 protein. Think of use AG-1 as the stop sign that prevents adult humans from growing new teeth. Once that stop sign is removed, your body's dormant tooth buds, yes, you still have them, wake up from their decades-long sleep. During this month, stem cells in your jaw are multiplying like crazy. You won't see anything, but under the surface, your body is preparing for something incredible. Now we enter month two, and this is where things get exciting. Around weeks six to eight, patients in the clinical trials reported feeling a slight pressure or tingling sensation in their gums. Some described it as similar to when you were a kid and your adult teeth were coming in. One trial participant said, it felt like something was pushing up from below, but it didn't hurt. At this stage, the tooth bud has formed into a recognizable tooth structure. It has enamel forming, dentin developing, and even the root system starting to anchor itself into your jawbone. By week 10 to 12, here's the moment you've been waiting for. You might actually see something. A small white bump appears through your gum tissue. It looks just like when a baby tooth first breaks through in infants. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg, literally. Most of the tooth is still developing below the gum line. Month four to six is the emergence phase, and this is where patience becomes crucial. Your new tooth continues pushing through the gum, growing taller each week. During the Japanese clinical trials, researchers observed that teeth grew at an average rate of about one to two millimeters per week. That might not sound like much, but remember, a typical adult tooth crown is only about 10 millimeters tall, so we're talking about significant progress. Now, here's something fascinating that the research revealed. The tooth doesn't grow at a constant rate. It's faster at the beginning and slows down as it reaches its final height. Nature is smart like that. It gives the enamel time to harden and strengthen. By month six, most trial participants had a tooth that had fully emerged and was about 70 to 80% of its final size. So, can you start chewing steak at six months? Not so fast. Month seven to nine is the maturation phase. This is when your tooth is finishing its development. The roots are deepening into the jawbone, creating that rock-solid anchor you need for serious chewing. The enamel is reaching its maximum hardness, which, fun fact, makes it the hardest substance in the human body even harder than bone. Dr. Takahashi's team found that by month nine, the regenerated teeth had achieved about 85 to 90% of the structural strength of natural adult teeth. And here, S, the really cool part, the tooth continues to strengthen even after month nine. Just like natural teeth, they continue to mature over the following year, eventually becoming indistinguishable from your original teeth in both appearance and function. But wait, before you mark your calendar, you need to know that this timeline can vary based on several factors. Factor number one, your age. Younger patients, typically those in their 20s and 30s, showed faster regeneration times, their stem cells are more active and responsive. Factor two, the location of the missing tooth. Front teeth generally grow faster than molars. Why? They're smaller and have simpler root structures. Factor three, your overall health. Good nutrition, especially calcium and vitamin D levels, can speed up the process. Smoking or diabetes, those can slow it down significantly. And factor four, how long the tooth has been missing. Fresher extractions with better preserved jawbone structure showed faster results. So, bottom line, how long does it take to regrow a tooth? Based on current clinical trial data from Japan, you're looking at approximately nine to 12 months 
from injection to a fully functional tooth that s about the same time it takes to grow a baby, you re-literally growing a new body part. Is it worth the wait? When you consider the alternative is living with a gap, uncomfortable dentures, or expensive implants that can fail. Most people would say, absolutely. The best part? This technology is getting faster with each advancement. Who knows, in five years, we might be talking about regrowing teeth in just three to six months. If you found this timeline breakdown helpful, smash that like button. And if you want to stay updated on every breakthrough in tooth regeneration technology, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Drop a comment below, would you wait nine months to regrow a natural tooth or would you go with dental implants? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. This has been a medical miracle. And remember, the future of dentistry isn't just about fixing teeth, it's about regrowing them. See you in the next video.